Good morning and welcome back to the homestead. Should I have just spent $700 on this one chicken? Let's talk about why I did. Well, let me tell you, part of the reason I did it is because we had a pecking problem and we may have a sickness problem. And I'm gonna talk about both of those. And I know this is gonna help out a lot of you with your chicken flock. So I didn't just spend 700 bucks on this coop and the electric fence and the energizer just to separate one chicken because I will use this as a separate coop and or second chicken run and or chicken tractor. And I talked about that in one of my other videos. But for right now, it is keeping her alive. Why are you pecking me? Huh? You not feeling good? It's okay, what's wrong? Are you sick? So we're gonna talk about pecking order first. Every flock of chickens is going to have a pecking order. It's the natural way that they keep the weakest birds out of the flock. Now you gotta watch out because that pecking order, the ones at the bottom, sometimes can get killed if they're sick. And it's the way chickens keep their flock strong. Now I talked about in the previous video why our chickens were pecking each other initially. And that was because we found out they had a protein deficiency. Now, as you can see, a lot of them, as we increased the protein in their feed, a lot of them have regrown their feathers. There are a couple that have not regrown their feathers and I noticed the behavior of the chickens and they are constantly getting pecked on. Now we tried some anti-pecking lotion, didn't work at all. Because this is a natural instinct for chickens to do, uh, they just pecked right through whatever nasty tasting lotion uh, that was supposed to work uh, that we put on the chickens, they didn't even care. Now each flock has a hierarchy. There's the bottom rung and the top rung. You got the rungs in between. Those on the bottom rungs, the bottom two rungs usually, are the ones that uh, get beat up really, really bad. And sometimes you have to separate them. Now if a chicken is sick, it will rarely show a sign of weakness or illness to the other chickens. And that's because if they do, they're gonna be the one that gets picked on really, really bad. Now, like I said, if those chickens detect an illness or sickness in another chicken, they want to get rid of the weakest member of the flock so that they will either chase her away from the flock, which doesn't work in our situation because they're not free ranged, or they will kill that chicken. So I've got a problem because I've got two that are being pecked almost to death. So that's why I separated this one whose name is Nutmeg. I separated Nutmeg because she was the worst. She had not grown back one feather. However, when I put her in here, she started growing back her feathers, which means that past that initial uh, protein deficiency in all the chickens, the pecking order developed and she's the one who really got pecked on. However, I think there's another reason and I think it's because she may be sick. Now let's talk about sickness in your chickens. You should always be watching your flock to see what's happening with them. And if there are any signs of issues with them, those issues can be slow and lethargic hens, floppy or droopy or pale combs, hens that don't wanna eat or drink, or they have droopy eyes with some discharge coming from them. Now, if you don't see any of those physical characteristics that I just talked about, there is a behavioral trait that could indicate your chicken is sick. And that is puffing up their feathers and being aggressive with you. Now chickens puff up their feathers for many different reasons. One, it's because they're cold. Two, it could be because you have a broody hen. Three, it could be within your roosters, but we're not talking about roosters today. It could be within your roosters because they're aggressive with one another. Now your hens can get aggressive with one another for several different reasons. They're bored, there's overcrowding, there's some weakness in the flock, a lot of different things but you really need to dive down and figure out what is wrong with your chicken. 
So we're gonna talk about some issues with her right now and some things to check for. Okay, in terms of sicknesses, there's a lot of different things that could happen to them. One, they could become egg bound. And when a chicken is egg bound, that means the egg is either crushed, cracked, deformed within the uh, canal and it won't come out. That'll cause the chicken to not feel very well and to act differently. But for her, that's not the case. She lays every day. Two, it could be because she's got an impacted crop, which means there is too much in her crop and it's not move moving through her system and it could start to get infected. Now, usually a chicken will stop eating if they have an impacted crop. And for her, she's still eating and drinking just fine. Her comb is red, it's not pale, it's straight up and down. Her eyes aren't droopy, she's not lethargic. She doesn't have any discharge coming from her eyes either. So a chicken disease you really wanna check for is coccidosis. And there are a few characteristics of that which include a, an anemic comb or a pale comb and also a bloody stool. So I have checked in this coop four signs of coccidosis, which is an intestinal parasite that can eventually kill the chicken. But I've checked, there is zero bloody stool. So that's one of the biggest telling factors of coccidosis is that bloody stool, which is a kind of mucusy, no problem with her. So honestly, I have no idea what her problem is. But that's why you should have a separation coop like this. But let me talk about what happened with her and another chicken that just has me completely baffled. And now we're gonna back up and talk about pecking order again. So we have another chicken, her name is Cinnamon. This is Nutmeg, we have Cinnamon. Cinnamon, after we removed Nutmeg from the coop, got put on the lowest rung of the pecking order and she is getting pecked really badly. So what we did was we took Cinnamon and put her with Nutmeg. Something weird happened. Nutmeg would run in front of Cinnamon continuously and Cinnamon would peck the crap out of Nutmeg. So we had a pecking order reestablished in here and it was pretty brutal. Now this is really big and we've got roosting space and maybe I should provide some place for nutmeg to hide, which is a strategy for pecking. So if your chickens are pecking one another, give them some places to hide, give them the proper amount of space, make sure there is enough room in your coop and run for all of your chickens because that's one of the reasons why chickens do peck one another is they don't have enough room. So make sure you have that. Also make sure you have separate water and feed for your chickens because then if a sick bird or a bird that's getting pecked who's on the bottom rung needs food or water, they can go to that other source. And that only happens if you have more than 10 or 12 chickens. Um, if you have 10 or 12 chickens, you may want two stations of food and water. In our case, we only have seven. So it really wasn't that big deal. And we, we had plenty of room in the coop. But there's another thing about the pecking order we do need to mention, and that is bully birds. Now, bully birds usually are in the middle rung. They are ones that uh, get a little bit pecked on from the ones in the top rungs, but they do a lot of patrolling and protecting of the food source and the water source and things like that. And those bully birds can really beat up the ones on the bottom rungs. Sometimes what will develop two is a bully group. So the bully group will be two in the middle or three, depending on the size of your flock, and they will gang up together on somebody on the bottom like nutmeg. Now, I believe I saw this happening with our barred rocks. There were two or three barred rocks that are currently chasing around cinnamon and pecking her really bad, and I saw them chasing nutmeg also, and that's why I originally removed hers. Those barred rocks were really picking on her pretty bad. So I believe what they formed was a bully group to separate a sick chicken. And that sickness is still a mystery at this point. But that sickness may have transferred itself to Cinnamon, who's still in the other coop, because I had to take her out of this one because she was really hurting Nutmeg, take her out of this one and put her in the other one. So I'm at a loss. I may put Cinnamon and Nutmeg back in the original coop and take out the barred rock bullies and put them in here themselves and see what happens with that. 
I could have a complete separation of the two breeds, which is weird because usually Rhode Island Reds and Barred Rocks get along just fine. So I did forget to mention that one thing you can also check for with sickness are lice and mites. And that will cause them to, you know, peck each other, but it's really not that common because usually if you have lice and mites, it usually infects the, or affects the entire uh, flock itself. So friends, I hope that helps you out with some basic ideas of what to look for when you see a pecking order developing and what to do about it and what to look for in sickness in a chicken and how that affects the pecking order. So I've checked so many different things and I just cannot find something that's very specific to what's happening with just this chicken or the other one. So if you have any ideas, I want you to let me know in the comments section below. Now go check out this video right here, which shows you exactly how we built this coop. Have a great day. We love you. See you next time. Bye.